Now, in this part, we're going to talk about Cartesian product. We're going to define what we mean by Cartesian product offsets. And then, as always, we're going to discuss the properties of Cartesian product in relation now to the elementary set operations, the intersection, the union, and the complement of set. And of course, in a more general scenario for arbitrary collection of sets. Okay, so if you're ready, let's start. So let's define first what we mean by a Cartesian product. Now, an ordered pair x, y uh, of objects is called, or this this symbol here. Okay, so for, for two objects x and y, the open parenthesis x, y is called an ordered pair of x and y. Again, in this representation, we're using this as an ordered pair, not as an open interval. Okay? So, it's an abuse of notation, yes, but there's no other notation that we're using. And we're already familiar with this notation. So, this is an ordered pair of objects x and y, where x and y are called the first and second coordinate respectively. So, this is an ordered pair. Pair, meaning the ordering is very important. Hindi pwedeng magkabaliktad. And an ordered pair is equal to another ordered pair if and only if the coordinates are equal. So that's what is important in ordered pair. The ordering matter. Unlike in a set, di ba in a set, an xy element is the same as a yx element. Sa set, pareho lang yun. Pero in an ordered pair, an xy is not necessarily equal to yx. Siyempre, may mga case na nagiging equal sila, pero in a general setting, hindi sila equal. So, given two sets A and B, the Cartesian product, which is denoted by A times B, or A, A cross B, is the set of all ordered pair AB, where the first coordinate is an element of the first set, and the second coordinate is an element of the second set. So, yung A nang gagaling kay capital A, yung B nang gagaling kay capital B. So, this notation as well, hindi pwede magkabaligtad. Iba yung A cross B sa B cross A. Unless, para yung set lang yung pinag-uusapan, which is pwede naman. In mathematical symbol, A cross B is the set of all ordered pair A, B such that A is in A and B is in B. Okay? It's very important that we know, we know how to express this in math symbols. Because proving rely on being able to translate everything mathematically. So let's give uh, now properties of the Cartesian product. But but before the properties, let's let's have some example. For example, very common Cartesian product is the Cartesian plane. The Cartesian plane consists of all ordered pair x, y, such that both x and y are real number. Right? That's what uh, we call the Cartesian plane. Sometimes you write it as R squared. Yeah. Cartesian plane. Named after, of course, René Descartes, we, who has a tremendous amount of work about Cartesian product and product of infinite sets. Yeah. So, yun yung forte ni, ni Descartes. Now, for for uh, finite set, for example, we can also have, say, A is the set 1, 2, and 3. And B is the set, say, uh, 3, 5. Okay. So the Cartesian product A cross B is simply all possible pairing for the first element coming from A and the second element coming from B. So, all possible pairing. So, we have 1, comma 3 and 1, comma 5. If you want the first coordinate to be 1, 2, comma 3 and 2, comma 5 for the first coordinate 2. And lastly, for the first coordinate 3, we have 3, 3 and 3, 5. To visualize, we can, a, a very good visual, visualization of a Cartesian product is a Cartesian plane. So this is actually just since this is a subset of the real number, this is a subset of the real number, we can actually look at that as points in the Cartesian plane. So for example, let's locate the points 1, 2, and 3 and the points 3, 5. So let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
So this is the line 1. Let me get line 1, line 2, line 3. Line 3 on the y equals 3 and the y equals 5. So the points that we want are actually just these points. The intersection of the lines x equals 1, 2, 3 and y equals 3, 5. <clears throat> We can even have segments, <coughs> excuse me, of the number line. So, for example, if I get A equals, so I will not use the, or the interval, the open interval notation, kasi baka malito tayo sa ordered pair. So, I will use the usual interval or the usual rule method. So, let's suppose that X is all the real number between um, 1 and 4 including 1 and 4. And let's say B is the set of all real number between the interval, say, 2 and 5. This time, let's not include 2 and 5. Alright. So, how do we visualize the Cartesian product A cross B? Again, A cross B is simply all sets, uh, all points of the form X, Y, where here we want X to be between 1 to 4, and of course, I'm going to use y now on the second coordinate. Y, kasi magkakaroon tayo ng kalituan pag parehong x ang ginamit natin, 2 to 5. Anyway, x are just dummy variables. But to visualize, so let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the y-axis. So what we want are the points between 1 to 4. So this is 1 and this is 4. Now on the other hand, on the y-axis, what we want are the points between 2 to 5 but not including 2. So usually if we do not include the end points, ang ginagamit natin ay dash. To mean na hindi kasali yun. Ang gagamit tayo ng dash. So, if it's solid, it's included. If it's not, if it's dash, it's not included. So, everything inside this rectangle will be our A cross B. Okay. So, those are some examples of Cartesian product. Let's now extend the concept of Cartesian product even further. A while ago, we have Cartesian product for two sets. We can actually extend that into finitely many set. So, for example, if you have A cross A1 cross A2 cross A3 cross and so on up to N. So, for a finite collection of sets, uh, the Cartesian product is simply the collection of N to poles. So here we have just two coordinates. For this, we will have n coordinates. So the first coordinate will come from the first set. The second coordinate will come from the second set and so on. The n coordinate will come from the nth set. All possible combinations of those n tuples. Uh, for convenience, we simply write this as the product. So usually in mathematics, you, we use pi to denote product. The product A sub uh, I, I coming from 1 to N. So basically, this is the same way of using the sigma notation. But instead of the plus for sigma, we're using the Cartesian product of set. So again, same use. For sigma, you're using it plus because sigma is S. That's why it's a sum. We're using pi for product because it's p, pi, product. So that's times or b symbol. Actually, you're, we are already using this same um, symbols in, in big union, right? We're using union of sets. And then in big intersection, we're using it as intersection of set. So arbitrary union, arbitrary intersection, and so on. So they follow the same format when or the same rule when we want to expand so this is just a shorthand notation 
Okay. So what does it mean for the Cartesian product of n sets? So the Cartesian product of n set I equals 1 to n is simply the collections of all n to poles. n to poles A1, A2, A3, and so on up to A sub n such that A sub i of course comes from the i from the i set of the of the collection. So A sub i for each i between 1 to up to n. So we call this there's, there should be a close parenthesis. So we call this an n to pole. So basically that's like the Cartesian product of Rn times to itself. So an example could be an Rn or that's an n-dimensional uh, Cartesian space. So that's all n to poles uh, x sub 1, x sub 2, and so on up to x sub n. So hindi ko na pwede gamitin yung x, y, z kasi tatlo lang yun. Eh. So in general, x1 up to x n such that x sub i are all real for all i equals 1 up to n. Okay? So for n equals 3, that's the three-dimensional space. For n equals 2, that's the two-dimensional space. So we can no longer visualize a four-dimensional four space or a five-dimensional space, but basically, a representation is valid. So now let's get the Cartesian product uh, with set operations. So let's say we have set A, B, and C. So those are sets. And then we want to get the Cartesian product of A with the union, with the intersection, or with the complement of C and B. So number one. We have A union, rather Cartesian product with B union C. Number two, we want A Cartesian product with the intersection. And the third operation, number three, we have A Cartesian product with B except C. So what happened is we have a set A and we have a set B and C. Remember, when you're getting Cartesian product, nababago yung set natin. Uh, unlike when we're having a union or an intersection, yung set natin of elements, they have the same nature. Di ba? Pag nag-union ka ng B and C, so all you need to do is to get the same, all the elements. Yan. Pero pag nagka-Cartesian product ka, what happens is that nababago yung forma ng elements. Ang nangyayari, meron ka na ngayon, ordered pair. So, ang mga elements nito dapat of the form x, y. Dito, halimbawa, nandito yung x, tapos nandito yung y, either in B or in C, kasi union naman. So, anywhere in those particular set. So, yung nature nung elements natin na bago na. Kasi nagkaroon ka ng coordinates. Naging first coordinate yung unang element, naging second coordinate yung pangalong element. So, this is a different kind of element from the previous. Yan. Okay? So, ganyan na bago yung nature. Okay. So, ang sinasabi is, pag, pag kumuha ko ng ordered pair, X coming from A and Y coming from B, of course, the element will be from A cross B. Tama? If Y is in B. Now, what if Y is from C? So, you have two possible scenario. Either Y is in B or Y is in C. So, if Y is in C now, what happens is, pwede rin na yung, yung ordered pair natin magiging mapupunta sa A cross C. Because it's an ordered pair X, Y. Here, the first case is from B and the second case is from C. So either, that's an or, either you are from X, Y or you are, uh, either you are from A times B or you are from A times C. 
So that's what happened when you cross product A with the union. Either the result is coming from B, A times B or A times C. So we state that as follows. So A cross B union with A cross C. So this is very similar to the process of distributing the Cartesian product. Para ka lang nag-distribute. Okay. Now, let's take a look what happens if X and Y are in the intersection. Now, if X and Y is in the intersection, of course, this element Y here will be in the shaded region. Here. So, doon mapupunta yung uh, set, yung value na Y. So, if Y is in the intersection, then what happens to X uh, ordered pair X, Y? So, we know that Y is in B intersection C. So, it's in B and this time it's also in C. So, it's an end. So, that means it's the intersection of those two, of those two sets. So, we can write this as A times B intersection A times C. And finally, if you have uh, A intersection, uh, A times B except C. So where's B except C? B except C is anything in B outside C. So that means Y is in B, but it is not in C. So what happens here? It is in here, but it is not in the second set. So that means we have A times B except a times C. So those are the three operations. So when you get the Cartesian product with the set operations, union, intersection, or complement, what you're actually doing is similar to distributing Cartesian product. So they distribute mo lang. Okay? So let's prove I'll prove number one and I will leave number two and number three as an exercise. Again, the proof will be similar. Kailangan nyo lang i-state in connection with either union, intersection, or complement. So, all you need to do is to remember the definition of union and intersection and complement. So, again, I'll do number one and I will leave two and three as an exercise. So we want to show set equality as always. If you want to show that two sets are equal, all you need to do is to show that the elements of the first set are elements of the second set and vice versa. So we will uh, establish the if and only if connection. So you always start with letting X to be an element of the first set. So for any object X, let X be an element of A cross B union C. And then apply the definition. So what does it mean that A is an element of that set? So yung nasa labas na operation, yung unahing i-apply ang definition. So times muna. Now, we will have a problem now pag ang representation natin X lang. Why? Because the expected result should be a, a coordinate. Diba? So that means we need to represent X as a coordinate, as an ordered pair. So let's use... Uh, x equals the ordered pair uv. Yan. So, ano lang to? Uh, representing x as an ordered pair. Sir, bakit mo ni-represent ang x as an ordered pair? Kasi yung set mo, ang mga elements niya, ordered pair. So, you need to follow when you prove, you need to follow the characteristic of the element. Actually, pwede namang nag-start ka na agad ng for every x. You can start instead, start right away at for every, instead of for every x, for every ub ka na agad. Pwede naman yan. That's actually better. Kaya lang, meron tayo kasing nakasanayan na for every x. So, finalo ko lang yung parang nakasanayan natin na for every x. For every x, for every x. So I'm just following the tradition or the habit of proving and then I'm now 
restructuring the element so that it will agree with what we are actually proving. Ayan. Okay. So, what does it mean for the ordered pair UV to be in this set? Of course, by definition of the Cartesian product, that means that U is in A and U is in the union. Rather, V is in the union of B and C. So, that's definition of Cartesian product. Okay. So, now... The second part U is all is in the union. So let me copy U in A and V in B or so this is a compound statement. So I'm putting a parenthesis. So V is in B or B is in C. That's definition of union. All right. Now. As a logical statement, this is and distribute over or. So P and Q or R. So that's distributive property. So we can write U is in A and V is in B. Close parenthesis. Then distribute to other statement U is in A. And V is in C. And then keep the OR statement in between. So that, that, that's distributive law in logic. Okay. Let's now return to the form of the set since this is U in A and V in B. So you have two different elements coming from two different sets. That's precisely the, the definition of Cartesian product. So that means the ordered pair UV is an element of A cross B. Or that same ordered pair U and V is an element of A cross C. Definition of Cartesian product. But since this is an OR statement, same element, so that same element is either from A cross B or from A cross C. So that means it's from the union of the two. That's definition of union, not U, union. But that's exactly what we want to show. So we are done. So let's conclude the statement. Therefore... A, Cartesian product with B union C, is actually the same as A, Cartesian product B, union A, Cartesian product C. So you just distribute the Cartesian product over union. Similarly, you can also distribute Cartesian product over intersection and over complement, and this will be left as an exercise. Again, exercise are good practice to reinforce the concept that are discussed in class. So I expect everyone to practice the exercises.